Good afternoon. I'm Cara Dahl Russell. Today, on our After the News at Noon series of the life of Louis Spohr, we come to a turning point in both his life and his music. At about the age of 25, Louis Spohr first met and heard the daughter of a court singer named Dorette Scheidler. She was a brilliant harpist and pianist. The first time he heard her play, she was 18 years old, and he says he was almost moved to tears. Bowing in silence, I took my leave, but my heart remained behind. And his head started working. He wrote a work for harp and violin, her instrument and his instrument, as a good excuse for the two of them to spend time together rehearsing. Shortly after the very successful premiere of the work, he proposed in a carriage, saying, Shall we thus play together for life? Their marriage proved to be very affectionate and strong, perhaps due to their intertwining musical lives and the great wealth of virtuosic music that he wrote for her. They concertized together through the central portion of their adult lives. This work was written for Dorette, this work of romantic introduction. This is not the most challenging work that he wrote for harp compared to his later compositions where he pursued newer techniques of musical experimentation, but it is worth noting that much like his works for clarinet, all the works, including this early one that he wrote for harp, were for virtuosos. Unlike works written by Beethoven, where he frequently said that many of his sonatas were just written for students and for publication, they were written for amateurs to play, and he didn't feel very highly about those works, Spohr's works for clarinet and harp were written for the -the top-of-the-line musicians of the day. So while this is moderately challenging compared to later works, it's still a work for a virtuoso. Dorette played the single-action harp, that was popular of the day, and she actually stopped playing shortly before her death when the double-action harp took hold. She felt that the instrument was just different, the tonality was different, the technique was different, and she personally didn't like it and just stopped playing. The style of this work lies somewhere between the classical style of Mozart and Haydn and Spohr's own development of some more spicy musicality. The Sonata for Violin and Harp in C Major. Sophie Langdon plays the violin, and Hugh Webb plays the harp. <laughs> 